Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin and today I'm gonna do something you've probably already seen but you haven't seen me do it before. <laughs> I'm gonna do a Mississippi pot roast. Yes, more chuck. Chuck roast, it seems like that's all you see at the store anymore. It's like, where'd the rest of the cow go? I don't know. Anyway, I've got these uh, three pound that I had the freezer, fresh three and a half pounds. I'm gonna use my uh, meat stick and I also got a meat stick mini. Okay, and uh, for this Mississippi pot roast, the only thing I'm gonna put on this uh, chuck roast to get it smoked is uh, my uh, Man Kitchen Recipes SPG. And all we're gonna do is just sprinkle it on. It's that easy, you don't have to go real thick because of all the other ingredients that go in a Mississippi pot roast. Okay, get these turned over. like that get the sides this one has a string around it not sure if I need a string around the other one or not all right and just like that we are ready to go into the grill as soon as I put in my meat stick so I'm gonna put this meat stick in right here I'm gonna put my mini in right here in the center let's see I can't quite go straight down so I'm gonna go at an angle now let's get these on the grill I'm running my pit boss 1100 pro series 1100 at 225 we'll go for three hours get the big one over here don't really need my shelf but it was in there last time I'll put my three pounder over here this one has the meat stick mini that one has the meat stick X. All right. Let's get some smoke on this for a few hours and we'll be back and show you how we put the rest of this together. Okay, it has been three hours and I've got my pan here. I've got onions all. This is two onions cut up since we're doing two of these chuck roasts. Let's get them out of there and onto here. Man, look at that. They've got some great color. Okay. Let's get this one onto here. All right. I'll take them over to the table. Show you what else. Okay, so these have been in here for three hours. We're going to take out the little meat sticks. And then what goes in a Mississippi pot roast and what makes it a Mississippi pot roast is pepperoncinis. I've got a, a 32 ounce jar here because I'm doing a double. Normally you'd use a 16 ounce if you're doing a single. We have some uh, Hidden Valley Ranch uh, dried dressing and also some au jus gravy. And it's gonna go on each one. So let's just get that going. Go in with the ranch. On one. There's the ranch there. The au jus gravy. Okay. And we're going to take our pepperoncinis. We're just going to add them all. Get these in here, the ones that are at the top of the jar. And we are going to pour all the juice from the entire container. All the peppers. These are medium heat. Sure, they labeled them medium so you can get mild or hot. I didn't see any hot ones, so we got medium. That should work. And then for mine, I'm going to add okay, so first, uh, Mississippi pot roast goes really great with uh, mashed potatoes. So, what I'm going to do, uh, since I've got this bigger pan, just the juice from one uh, 32 ounce jar, I'm going to add 
my potatoes in with this and let them cook while that cooks. So I'm gonna add some beef broth to give us a little more liquid. Probably about, let's see, this is uh, probably about a cup and a half. And then we're just gonna put our potatoes in there too. And let those cook right along with the rest of this tasty stuff. Hopefully they'll all fit. <laughs> I think I'll make one fit right there. Okay, and that's all we got to do. Now we're going to cover it with a piece of foil, get it back in the pellet grill, and we're going to crank it up to 250. Okay, this is a big pan, but this is a big pellet grill, so everything's good. We're going to set it like that. We're going to turn up to 250. We'll see you in a second. In three hours. Now let's see what it looks like. good oh man yeah I think that is done yep we're done okay so I've let this rest in the pit boss while it cooled down for about 35 40 minutes Let's take this out of here okay so this thing went uh, three hours at 225 then I put all the goodies in it wrapped it up cranked it up to 220 250 and went for uh, three more hours. We let it rest for 40 minutes. Now we're gonna open it up here. Oh, that steam. Oh man, look at that. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get these potatoes out of here. They are nice and soft. That's this, see there. Cook the potatoes right in it. So we can mash those up. And then what you want to do is just shred the, shred the meat up. Look how soft that is. Look how easy that shreds. And the reason why I like to do it with my hands is so that I can get all this fat and gristle out of there. Get that string off of there. And I like just to break it up right in all this juice. So good. find any fat just take it out nobody wants to chew on the fat right well you know what I mean <laughs> might want to chew the fat just don't want to chew on the fat it's so tender yeah 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 okay of course yes I'm gonna take a taste still pretty hot that has tons of flavor look at that just fall apart shredding it's exactly how you want it like butter I do like to get these stems out of these pepperoncinis they just fall right off man some of that pepperoncini in there Taste this too with pepperoni in it. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Someone in Mississippi had a great idea. I said, move this to the side, pull it back a little bit. Now these potatoes, I will get a fork, mash them up, but look how, look how soft they are. They just fall apart. Look at that. Mashed potatoes with your hands. I do have cotton gloves over these other gloves, clear ones this time instead of black. Look at that. Ooh, that's hot, even through these gloves. All right, we're gonna take these inside and feast. Oh yeah, look at that. Got the juice on the side, there's our mashed potatoes. Look at that. Mm, I'm gonna load me up a bowl full. Got my mashed potatoes in a bowl. 
Now I'm going to load it up with some of this Mississippi pot roast. Not going to be shy either. We're going to load this bowl up so we can take it outside. Do a taste test for you. Man, but first, check this out. Man. Okay, so that's an all-day process. It turned out amazing. Those potatoes just squished in my hands. Mashed potatoes. We use golden potatoes. Put them in with the cook. That's a little different, right? I'm going to take a taste test of this. Get a little potato. Peppercini. The chuck. Ah, all in one big bite. All right, let's give this a try. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that just melts right in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Man, that is so good. Okay, well, if you get a chance, make you some Mississippi pot roast. If you've got a big enough pan, throw some potatoes in there on that last three hours. They were perfect. They mushed right up. Mashed potatoes. Mmm. All right. Hopefully we'll see you on the next video.